Well, Franz has uh, had his first uh, time on stage and he looked kind of dull and a little bit bored on stage. But I'm not really worried about that because it was the same feeling during every Melody Festival and rehearsal that he, he's kind of... He feels like he's just walking around, not uh, not doing anything, but singing a little bit. Maybe he's looking into a camera once in a while. We'll see. Hopefully, this uh, improves a lot during rehearsals. Uh, but the main thing is, whenever the audience is in there, uh, how he takes on that, because that's when he normally wakes up. But um, it might not have been the most impressive rehearsal, the first one. Uh, I I like uh, Franz uh, the song he does. Uh, I don't. To be honest, I don't think it's a Eurovision winner. It's not that good, but I think it's it's a nice song, but it's maybe not super good. And uh, my wife and other Swedes I talk to actually says it's yeah it's not that good. And my and my wife is kind of. She doesn't like it at all. She thinks that uh, there were a lot of good um, songs from Sweden in the Swedish competition. Um, I think it's okay, but I don't think it's a winner, unfortunately. This is the second time I see Franz performing his uh, If I Were Sorry, and uh, the staging is uh, very similar we saw in March in Friends Arena when he won a lot of festival. And, and I think the biggest uh, moment for this song is it's very catchy, it's very easy, and this is the moment uh, they can get uh, the attention of all audience and uh, can do very well. Uh, of course, we can uh, speak a lot of about uh, Franz vocals but uh, the song is uh, catchy and this is the biggest pass of this song so it can rank very high in the competition uh, this year too.